For the past two years, James Wainaina has been growing fodder for his livestock through hydroponics, a revolutionary farming technology of growing crops without soil. This kind of farming offers a solution to livestock farmers, especially small-scale farmers, as it ensures a steady supply of fodder all year round at a very low cost compared to other commercial feeds and fodder. If you choose to compare dairy meal and fodder, 2 kg of fodder is equivalent nutritional wise to 1 kg of dairy meal. But 1 kg of dairy meal, as you all know, is 30 shillings. And 2 kg of fodder is only 5 shillings and 50 cents. So it's like you are replacing it, uh, that shillings with 5 shillings and 50 cents. So it's, it's far much more economical in terms of money and, and uh, also in terms of nutrients. Though hydroponics has been in existence for over 50 years, Kenyan farmers are just starting to embrace it as a better and easier alternative to feeding their livestock. From 1921, it has been uh, it was being practiced even in large scales in Western countries. But right now, we are able to adapt that technology and uh, we are using it to, to feed our animals. So, what does it take to start growing this fodder? If you want to do hydroponic farming, first of all, you should have a loom which is able to maintain room temperature. Because the barley uh, and the wheat grows very well in cool temperatures. So the temperature range should be between 17 to 25. You should, you should also concentrate on barley seed. Uh, because barley seed, once sprouted, has all the nutrients the animal will require. A 10 by 10 feet room can hold about 42 trays and produce over 600 kilograms of fodder per day. Enough to feed two dairy cows, 10 goats, sheep or pigs, and over 400 birds. A barley glass, you can feed the birds, both exotic and indigenous, four days after germination. You can also feed the pigs five days after germination. And of course, you can feed the happy farmers. Those are the cows, the sheep, goats, the rabbits. They can also take that uh, uh, that barley grass seven days after germination. It is also used as a barley grass. Barley grass is uh, 1.5 times more potent than wheat grass, so it can also be consumed as, uh, by man as barley grass seven to ten days after germination. And how long does it take to grow? Uh, hydroponic is very very water. Friendly. It will save you a lot of water because the research which has been done to produce one kg of grass using confectional method, you require 60 liters of water, and you do that for 12 weeks. But in hydroponic, you only require 0.4 liters of water, and you get that one kg in seven days. The advantages of this fodder over conventional fodder are many. For instance, how would you rate its nutritional value? The nutritional analysis of, of napier grass is not even comparable to that of fodder. Because unlike other seeds, once barley is sprouted, it has all the nutrients the animal requires. It has those nutrients in the right proportion and balance. So if you choose to, to use maybe millet or sorghum or maize or oats, you cannot give, you cannot exceed a certain range because they have limitation factors. But for barley, it has no limitation factor. That means you can feed it entirely to the animals. That's why we are feeding our pigs 100% uh, for them. They are doing very well. Though this technology is much easier and cheaper, many farmers are yet to embrace it, owing to the lack of knowledge on how to grow it and even its existence. Hence, through Panak's commitment to linking farmers with agricultural technologies and access to information, Hydrophonics Kenya is working towards assisting farmers build cheap, simple and sustainable hydrophonic systems.